In Joshua 14, Joshua is giving each tribe their inheritance of the land that was promised. And we see Caleb come onto the scene. And you've got to love Caleb and his passion for the Lord and his vigor for life in this chapter. Let me read this to you starting in verse 10. Now, as you can see, the Lord has kept me alive and well as he promised for all these 45 years since Moses made this promise, even while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Today, I'm 85 years old and I'm as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. So give me the hill country that the Lord has promised to me. You will remember that as the scouts, we found the descendants of Anak living there in great walled towns. But if the Lord is with me, I will drive them out of the land just as the Lord said. Look, Caleb, as an 85-year-old man, says, give me the hill country. If God is with me, I will drive them out. This reminds me of what the Apostle Paul said. Nearly after 30 years of ministry in Philippians 3, he says, I press on to reach the end of the race. You see, these men of God, Caleb, the Apostle Paul, they give us an example of what maturity in the Lord looks like. As we mature in the Lord and in age, we never retire from trusting the Lord and stepping into new ways of serving him. At 85 years old, Caleb's faith and confidence in the Lord was growing. Let me encourage you, no matter what age and what stage of life you're in, God always has fresh ways for your faith to grow. So don't relax, but reload and ready yourself for what the Lord has in store for this season of your life.